Welcome to one on one notary coaching with Mark. I am Mark. I'm with the loan signing system. If you're watching this on replay, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to make you a better notary loan signing agent. For those who don't know, I teach a loan signing system where I teach notary publics how to scale the notary signing agent businesses. Every Monday live on Instagram at 12 p.m. Pacific, I jump on with notary signing agents just like you to help them scale and build their signing agent businesses. I am so excited. What amazing other day. Today is the day after Halloween. Hope you had a safe and fun family holiday with your little ones. And let's get right to it because there is two months left in this year. We got two more months to blow out your goals for 2021. It is not a time to rest and be like, oh, I'm going to do it next year. I'm going to get prepared for January 1st. No, 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 no. We got two more months. So much can happen between now and January 1st. So I'm excited. If this is your very first time here, here's how it works. There's a little ad camera button right there where my finger's pointing. I bring on signing agents at first come, first serve. We wrap for a couple minutes. I help you grow a business. I'm so excited here. How is everybody doing today? Let's go. All right, so who's number one? What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, I'm on. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. OMG, OMG. Hi, Mark. Oh, I'm so good, girl. I'm so Hi. glad you're here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Me and you. Mono we mono girl talk to me talk tell everybody you you guys and the Facebook group you don't know how you're changing my life like I got goosebumps right now but anyway so I am um, commissioned did the exams passed the exams got my stamp got my printer waiting on my scanner I've been setting up my loan uh, the signing service accounts I've been you know using the list because now I'm in the marketing part I'm already getting notifications so you're saying the system works <laughs> yeah. and like the nerves like i was like oh my god this works it works it works so what do i do i know i'm still doing my mock signings i'm still going through the docs i'm still practicing with you know my son is my little guinea yeah. pig should i go, just jump in yes yes jump yes in, yes right? yes so uh, first off welcome to the family i'm so hi. glad we're speaking hi, hi, hi. <laughs> okay so there's so many great things that I heard, okay? I heard someone who's going through the course methodically. I heard a, a student who's going through everything the way you're supposed to. I'm so proud of you. So here's the first thing I want to say is, yes, continue to do mock signings. Remember with your son, brother, and uncle, doesn't matter. You want to get in the habit of flowing the paperwork. You want to get in the habit of making sure you can summarize a piece of paper in two or three sentences. So you're doing great. Just my only coaching on that aspect is, don't just focus on the refinances. Remember in the course, okay. you have the reverse mortgage. Remember yes. in the course, you have the HELOC, home equity yes. line of credit. Remember in the course, you have the seller's package. So yes. don't just focus because a lot of new signing agents just do the reverse. I mean, the refinances yes. Yes. and they get to reverse. I'm like, dude, you're spending too much time on the refi. So make sure you do that. Okay, cool. Okay. Second coaching I want to tell you is, you know, a lot of times I give you 300 um, signing services in the course. Now, remember, there's a difference between a signing service and a signing agent database, right? Yes. So all the databases you sign up with, SnapDoc, Signing Order, no, uh, Notary Cafe, uh, uh, Signing Order, a Notary yes. Dash. Okay, so those are the easy ones. Yes. So now you need to sign up with the signing services. Here's where a lot of students kind of have a speed bump, right? What happens is you guys, I'm speaking generally here, is you know, you'll know you sign up for 50 of the 300, you'll lose a little momentum. And okay. then I get a student like, oh, Mark, my notifications aren't going off as much as I want to. And I'm like, well, how many signing services you sign up with? They're like 100. I'm like, well, that's a good start. There's okay. 200 more. more. So mm -hmm. my coaching is don't lose the momentum. I know it gets a yes. little monotonous. It gets a little yes. bit like, well, Mark, this wouldn't have a place for me to sign up. Look, just what I want you to do is focus on all 300. So my goal for you is maybe do 10 to 15 a day. I That's what I'm is. saying, girl. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times students get down, they try to bang out that list in one day. That's how you yeah, lose no. momentum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do 10 to 15 a day until okay. you bang out the 300. Okay. And then remember, once you bang out the 300, there are phone numbers on that list. Call yeah. the signing service up. Use the script. Right, yeah. you don't need to veer off what you're taught. Yeah. Use the script, introduce yourself, tell them how you can add value to the business. Again, that's through the script. But girl, you're right on pace, you're right yeah, on I track. Love, I love it, it. It happened so quick, right? So real quick, so uh, Friday before last, I got verified by SnapDoc site quick. And then the Monday was my first notification. And then today I got, a, I got one from signing order. 
and I got a phone call from someone who needed a paper notarized, but I, I oh, wasn't available. I love it. So but, but, but I'm going to end with this is, uh -huh. you know, make sure go, a lot of times what happens is new students are getting the notifications and they start right. raining off on the study and keep going yes. through. No, so that's my coaching. Yeah. No. Don't stop. Remember the mentorship videos, right? Yes. You're paying yes. for that also. Remember the live yes. trainings, uh, live trainings with the six figure signing agents. Yes. Make sure you watch all of it. So just because the notifications are rolling in. Doesn't no. mean you lose momentum on the study, okay? Girl, I'm so proud Thank of you. I'm you. so glad Thank you're Thank you, guys. You're, you're welcome. Best. Keep me, Thank keep me, so keep much. me uh, uh, updated in the in the messages. Sure. DM me, let me know. Okay. Later. Bye. Bye bye. I love it. What a great conversation. You know, my biggest takeaway from that conversation is sometimes people experience a little bit of momentum and it allows the momentum to derail them a little bit. Let me give you an analogy towards losing weight because I think we all can can relate to that, right? So what happens is like, you know, one week or one month, we lose five pounds. And all of a sudden you're like, well, maybe I can cheat a little bit and maybe eat this piece of cake. Well, maybe I can not go to the gym one day less a week. So we've created momentum, but sometimes we start our own momentum going forward, right? We can relate this to a lot of things in our lives. And so what I want to make sure if you're a new signing agent is don't let the notifications and the early success derail you from the bigger picture, the bigger pictures, make sure for all signing service, the bigger pictures, make sure you're going back and studying. Remember repetition is the mother of learning. So I hope that helps some people out. I know I got inspired by that. I love meeting you new signing agents, building something for you and your families. Let's get someone else on now. Uh, who do we got here? Let's go with uh, Sophia. Let's get Sophia up. Everybody, hello, my name is Mark Wills. And if you are joining me live for the first time, it's an honor and so thankful having you follow my page. What's up? Oh, uh, hey, 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 let's Mark. go, let's go, on, let's Mark. go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you bring the energy right out of the gate, girl. Hi, okay. Mark, how are you? I am so good, how are you? I am so good, I'm good okay. today is the first official day that I can actually stamp. Like, I'm in there. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. This is huge. Okay, yep. so tell everybody your name. Tell everybody where you're from. And let's go over some questions I can help you with. Okay, I'm Sophia from D.C. Um, so I finished the first half of the six-figure course. Okay. Um, I, I am now overwhelmed and nervous because... I've been doing the um, the platforms, yeah. and I've been doing the signing services, like you said. Okay. But where I lack or have a little self doubt is a lot of people are looking for those who have experience, and I don't know how to go about that. Hey, I studied. I got sixty hours of training under my belt. Yeah. Going through it, so yeah. it's like that's where the self doubt is kicking in for me. <clears throat> Well, girl, first off, I want to say thank you for being so vulnerable because honestly, you're not the only person doing that, going through the self-doubt and who have those conversations. So I love uh, that vulnerability. So thank you for sharing with me. And I'm sure you're helping people right now who have that same self-doubt. So let's talk through that. The first thing I want to tell you, what makes this business amazing, okay, is that new signing agents get business because of what veteran signing agents won't take. There'll be a moment in your notifications or getting direct business where a signing agents like uh, a signing service will give you a $65 signing that is, you know, 90 miles away. Most uh, veteran signing agents are like, uh, no, thank you, but that's your opportunity. So my point is, I tell you new signing agents, be patient and take everything you can because the only way to get, ex to get more signing notifications is to gather experience and get signing orders completed. So, my coaching you is just be patient. There'll be moments in your area where veteran signing agents are literally going to be like, uh, I'm not doing that for $80 and that is too far from my house. And that's what makes this business great because there's really business for all of us. Now, let me just coach you real quick. My goal is for not, my goal is not for you to be a signing agent just $65, 90 miles away. But sometimes new signing agents shun opportunity to help them build their digital resume by being like, wow, I gotta take that so the algorithm see me get signing orders completed. So first and foremost is just be patient. That's my coaching. The okay. algorithms will give you the appointments that the veteran signing agents won't take. There's gonna be a point in your career where you're like, uh, no, I'm not leaving my house for less than a hundred bucks. And I want that to happen sooner than later. But to get there, you gotta be patient. And then when the notifications arrive that are a little bit like, uh, should I take it? 
the answer from your coach is yes, you take it. And then eventually you'll be like, I don't want that. And that gives the new signing agent opportunity. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. So coaching number one, coaching number two is you hit it on the head, girl. You have 60 hours of training. So a lot of reason, a lot of times, the reason signing services say, well, we want someone with 50 signings. We want somebody with a hundred signings is because signing agents aren't willing to call them up and express how their training surplants the necessary assignments that need to be assigned. So remember, humanize the process. You have the script. If you get a little bit nervous, a little bit cold on what to say, I teach you what to say. So you don't need to overthink what to say. What I want to do is help you push past those nerves to make the phone call. Because again, the only reason signing, and I own a signing service, remember, that's why you take my course, right? Right. The only reason we say we want 100 signings is because most signing agents will not call me up and coach me on why I should hire them. So if I'm never going to hear from anybody, my only line of defense is by requiring X signings. But I do that by default because okay. signing agents like yourself don't take the time to call me up. And a lot of signing agents are like, what do I say? Well, that's what the script's for. Does that make sense? Okay. So boom, girl, then you're so, <laughs> so beautiful. So, you know, that script is, you know, 18 bullet points. Just take four or five that okay. resonate with you that you feel comfortable saying and be like, hey, here's why I should give me a shot. I have 60 hours worth of training. I'm loan signing system certified. I'm NNA certified. Girl, I don't go to bed till 1 a.m. every day studying definitions. But, <laughs> but you need to communicate that. Does that make sense? Yes. Because as an owner of a signing service, that's all I want to hear. I want to hear about what somebody believes makes them a good signing agent. And nine out of 10 times, boom, you're preferred. Let's rock and roll. But again, those, those only are in there because we have nothing else to go off of. Okay. So change that. Okay. Does that make sense? Use the script. All right. You know what to say. So remember, I'm going to end with this girl. Action cures anxiety. Okay. The reason we get overwhelmed and we get full of anxiety is we tell ourselves the same story over and over and over. And that story grows, 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 and grows. So we got to cut that story off sooner by just picking up the phone, just having those phone calls. And you make, oh my gosh, well, I'm so glad I heard you. Like, that's so easy. You actually are a human being on the other end. Oh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So yep. just use the script, use what's in you, okay? And girl, you're going to crush this business, I have no doubt. Let's go. Oh, hey, let's go. Oh, hey. Okay. So on the way out, I got one last thing for you. Okay. What's that? You are deserving. You are amazing. This business is for you. Okay. So any other voices, get those out of your head, girl, because you got this. I believe in you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, girl. DM me and tell me how it all goes. I will. All right. Go get them. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. I love it. What a great conversation. My biggest takeaway from that conversation is understanding why signing services put uh, requirements on signings completed. It's because that's all we have to go off of. If all you're giving me is information on signing orders completed, well then yeah, I need to go with someone who has 50, 75, 100 closings. But if you can communicate to me why I should give you a chance, even though you don't have 25 closings, I will give you a chance. Remember, loan signing system students, if you don't know what to say, that's called the script. Remember, you have four scripts inside the course, one that is directly for signing services, one is directly for real estate agents, one is for escrow officers, one is for real estate attorneys. So make sure you're not reinventing the wheel. I tell you what to say, you just have to go say it. But remember, the only reason signing services put certain number of orders completed is because we have nothing else to go off of create a reason why we should give you it to you and you're going to make a ton of money. So even if you're not LSS certified, even if you don't have the scripts, the advice is still there. Humanize the process. If you don't know what to say. I love the opportunity to help you know exactly what to say. All right. What a great cover conversations going out. Um, like, do I have no gentleman on here today? Oh, let's go to my man Tristan right now. <laughs> Everybody. Hello. 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 My name is Mark. I teach the loan signing system. I help notary publics make money as notary loan signing agents. It's such an, oh, Tristan, my man. <laughs> How you doing, Mark? Dude, I am so good, bro. So I got your name. Where are you from? And let's get into some coaching. <laughs> I'm from uh, Monterey County. Um, was it? I just did my first uh, signing yesterday on Halloween. Oh, 
Okay, hold on, hold on. We have 225 notaries. Can we give him a round of applause? Drop a clapping emoji right now. Tristan, congratulations, man. How did it feel? Uh, I was... I was nervous the entire time, but I still I still did it nervous. I think what really helped was the the Facebook group with everybody cheering me on that I'll do great, and that made it much more easier to like get out of the car and go to the the, the borrower's house. Oh my! But, God. And and that's what people need to understand: the loan signing system community is probably the best part of the loan signing system. Not me. It's all the amazing people inside the LSS family. I'm so glad that they're able to communicate with you and help you push you through that thing, man. Hey, what an amazing, amazing day. Okay, cool. This is coaching, man. Where can I coach you on right now to help you keep moving this process, this ball down the field? Talk to me. Uh, well, I just needed to know what, like, well, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of like got it stuck. Like, okay, what do I do now after I got my first signing? And I'm like, I don't know why I just froze on that. Okay, yeah, no worries, man, because you're brand new at something. That's why. So it's totally normal. Here's what I want you to understand, okay? And I've said this before, I'm going to say it again, right? I'm giving you one-on-one -on -one coaching, even though I might have said this before. And that is momentum creates momentum, okay? The problem a lot of times is we stunt our own momentum. You know, my best analogy, I'm always going to go back to losing weight because everyone can relate to it, right? So let's say you lose, you lose a pound in the first week of your diet. What do you do the next week? You're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's working. I'm going to go to the gym even more. I'm going to watch my diet even more, right? And so the end of week number two, you've lost three pounds. So what happens week number three? You're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to the gym for six straight days this week. Momentum builds itself. Does that make sense? Yes. So my point is you have to let what happened yesterday build your momentum. You should okay. get confidence from that moment. Like, oh my gosh, I survived. I did great. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. But that's the story and narrative you have to tell yourself. Does that make sense? Yes. Just like when you, when you lose your first pound, you're like, oh, my God, that's amazing. I want that same reaction. Like, oh, my gosh, it's amazing. I completed my first one. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. So once you get that excitement created, the, question, the answer is you should be calling every signing service on that okay. list. You should be walking into title companies tomorrow in Monterey County. Like, you've done one. You know it's not that hard. You know that all you did for an hour or an hour and a half is tell someone to sign here, sign there, date there. But you have to tell yourself that narrative. You have to pump yourself up. That's the advice I have for you, right? Too many signing agents do their first signing and they're just like, no, get juiced. <laughs> like, get excited. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah. wasn't as hard as you thought it was going to be, was it? No, no. I mean, other than the nervousness, but no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. <laughs> that's my point. So that's what you have to keep telling yourself because that's going to drive you to call the signing services. That's going to drive you to walk into an open house. That's going to drive, dude, I'm sure you've got a buddy who's inside the real estate industry. Somewhere. Yes. Okay. So let this momentum drive that phone call. Does that make sense? Yes. So you should be like, uh, that wasn't at bad at all. I'm calling my boy, Mike. I know he's closing deals down in, down in uh, Monterey. You know what I mean? I was going to say Pebble Beach, by the way. <laughs> I went to school in Salinas. That's right. Salas. I remember. I think we were talking about that. Yeah. You went to Hartnell. <laughs> uh, so my point is, you, it, you're, the coaching is, let this momentum create momentum. Let it create excitement. Like, you have to start telling yourself, like, this is what successful people do. They create positive narratives. Unsuccessful people create the negative narratives. So you should be like, dude, that wasn't that bad at all. Oh my gosh, this is how I made $100. Like, I got to call my boy Mike. I got to call my girl Susan. I got to start telling them that I'm able and willing because I can stare at someone, sign their name all day long. But that has to come from within. That makes sense? Yes. Just the same way. Like, if you go on a first good date with someone, right? You're like, oh, snap. I can't wait. But you're driving that excitement. So you have to turn your momentum into excitement and excitement will help you push to the next level. Perfect. All right, dude. Hey, I love it. I, I go get it. You got the phone numbers. You got the list. Make sure you're calling signing services. Make sure you're following up with this one and saying, thank you for the business. Be a human, build this business. Okay. Okay. Hey, dude, one thank down you, and a trillion to go, my man. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> thank All you, Mark. Right, we updated the DMs. Will do. All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, um, look, I think the biggest takeaway in that conversation was understanding it's your job to create excitement. It's your job to see the good in something. It's our job to be like, oh my gosh, 
that was amazing and let that energy and momentum and excitement build into the next part of your business build. Does that make sense, everybody? Your job is to cre get the fire going and it's your job to keep flame, flame in the flames. You know what I mean? And so you want to make sure that you understand that excitement creates momentum. All right, cool. So let's go next. Who is next? Loving and a gentleman. I, I think Windia has been on here for a moment. Oh, India. I called you Windia. India, talk to me, girl. So glad you're on. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark. I teach no republics how to make money as loans. Oh, what up, girl? Hey! Marky Mark! What up, what up? So I think your name is India, right? Yeah. India, talk to me, girl. Where are you from? Orlando. Orlando, Florida, in the house. Yeah. Okay, cool, girl. Where are you from? I mean, where are you from? Where are you at in your business? What can I coach you on? Okay, so I, I'm getting all of my supplies. And my only thing is I have a full-time job. So all the signings, the um, notifications that I get, I get like three of them a day, I guess. Okay. But they're all for like after the time I get off. So I'm okay. like... I do. I need to sign up for more than. Yes. I this definitely has to be only after work because I'm. I only have like six more years ago at my job, but so I can only do it at night. Okay. And most of them are all like before, like ten o'clock in the afternoon, or all while I'm still working. Okay. Like, so how many signing services have you signed up with, more or less? Mm, not a lot. All not right, a Mark. lot. I appreciate the honesty, but girl, look, look to me, it's simple, right? It's a numbers game, okay? And, and, and remember, and it, let me coach you on this. I tell you students, the hardest thing I have to do is have you stop thinking like employees. Yes. Hard to, so, and, but that's tough because you're an employee, right? So, but that's why you hire, you hire a coach like me. Okay, so the point I'm trying to make with that statement is the business owner mindset understands that business is a numbers game, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you want more notifications, you have to sign up with more. You're literally expanding your notification opportunity when you sign up for more signing, uh, signing services. Does that make sense? Yeah. Here's the good news. Like I just coached Tristan on. Girl, you got to get excited about the notifications yes. that are happening. So you're like, yes. okay. So that momentum has to create more energy, which is like, look, I know it's 10 o'clock at night. Okay. Um, I know I'd rather be in bed, but let me just focus on signing up with 20 signing services before I crash. Right. But that's, that's where. I have a weekday off during the week. So yeah, you're right. You've got to prioritize the business. But like, here's what I see. I hear a signing agent who's getting notifications. Let's call it 25 signing services. Like imagine how many notifications you get if you signed up with a hundred. Right. In theory, it'd be four times as much. Now I said in theory. So, right. but let's just say it's two times as much. Do you think there'd be opportunity for signs that work around your work schedule if you had two times as many notification volume? Yeah, I know I need to do more. I do. Okay, well, girl, that's why you jumped on today for me to motivate you and inspire you to do that. But look, yes. look, you know, like I'll, I'll end with this. You have to understand that business is a numbers game. It's all it is, right? And if you can understand that building your business becomes easier, right? When, 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 when the moment comes for you to go direct, right? We call that six months, call that a year, whatever. Yes. The same concepts can, I hope you hear my voice in the back of your head. It's a numbers game. So if you go to two title companies, you're going to get more opportunity if you go to four. Right. It's just right. a numbers game, right? And so if you're signed up with 20 signing services, but you signed up with 100, it's just a numbers game. So, and that's what business owners understand. It's like, look, if I play the numbers game, the wider the net, the more opportunities. Does that make sense? Exactly. It does. It does. Okay. I will. I will. All Thank right. That's you. it. I've done my job. And I'm getting back in the group. Good. Get back in that group, girl. Right. I miss you. I got a live training this week. I want you in there. All right, take care. All right, girl, bye. Okay, bye, -bye. Uh, I love that conversation. So look, my, my biggest takeaway from that conversation is realizing that business is a numbers game. Like, look, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you. That, that really isn't groundbreaking, but the problem is that most signing agents don't think like business owners. And if you ever become a loan signing system student, you know I ingrained in you, you're a business owner first, a signing agent second. I teach business philosophy in my course that meshes with being a signing agent. Too many times people jump out in this industry and they just treat it like I'm a signing agent. They treat it like a hobby. I will never call any of my students 
a signing agent. I call them business owners because you're a business owner. And part of being a business owner is understanding that business is a numbers game. Opportunity is greater when you cast a wider net. So if I can get you to just sign up with 100 signing services, your opportunity is going to be greater if you signed up with 25. That is it. So just make sure you remember business is a numbers game. The more people you talk to, the more opportunity you have. The more signing services have your phone number, the more chances your phone's going to ring. If you remember that this is a numbers game, it should be easier to build your business. Wow, what a great day. 30 minutes in, call me crazy, but I think it's been fire so far. Okay, cool. Let's go to someone else. So glad you're on, everybody. Uh, let's go with Dora. I think she's been on for a minute. Oh, hello. Dora, what's up? Uh, hi, Mark. This is my first time here. So I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm so I am happy. so glad you're here, Dora. So, so before we start on our coaching, tell everybody where you're from. I'm from Enio, California. Okay. Northern beautiful. California. Yeah, Northern California. Love it. Okay, girl, where are you at? Uh, what can I help you with today? I reached out to title companies already. I started marketing myself. Good. And I have approval of two of them already. Woo! That's awesome. Okay, keep going. But now I, okay, what's the next step? Because okay. I'm not receiving their phone calls. Okay. I'm still visiting. Hi, how you doing? Bringing cookies and stuff. But, um... What else should I do or? Well, first off is the first thing that you do is be patient. Look, you know, the, what I teach you students is you have to look at this relationship like a personal relationship. Are you married, D? Yeah, no, okay. I, but I have children. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, the point is this, you know, if someone's trying to date you, you they might have to ask you out a couple times, right? If someone's trying to date you, that you have to hear over and over why you should give them an opportunity to date you, right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. For, two, for, for some reason, signing agents or anyone in sales doesn't see a business relationship the same as a personal relationship. They're both the same. There's no such thing as B2B, business to business. It's personal to personal no matter what we do. So my coaching to you is think about you trying to date them. What do you got to do to show that they should give you a chance and opportunity? Sometimes it's just showing up. Sometimes it's walking in being human. Today it's Halloween. Yesterday was Halloween. Excuse me. Going in. Hey, how was your Halloween? Just letting you know that there's any signing appointments. I'm here for the week. Use the script inside that follow-up. But what you have to understand is you can't ask somebody out and ask them to marry you at the first date. Yeah. You cannot ask someone to marry you after three dates, but sometimes students get frustrated. They're like, oh my gosh, I've been in there two times. How come they haven't used me? But see, that kills momentum. Okay. And that's why it's easy to get business is most signing agents don't see past this concept that it's a personal business. And they don't realize that sometimes a personal relationship takes a few follow-ups, four or five. Now, D, what I'm going to tell you right now, just like when you date, there will be title companies who will use you same day. But then the most of them will need a required follow-up. And that's not a knock against you, D. Okay? You know, I'm going to end with this. Too many times signing agents aren't connecting the dots that when you walk into a title office, you're walking in during their business day. So what were they doing the moment before you walked in? Could they be putting out a fire? Could they be marketing to a new real estate agent? So my point is sometimes when you walk in, they don't even remember that you walked in because they were doing something pretty important before you walked in. But so many signing agents feel like, oh my gosh, you don't remember me? When they could have just been yelled at by their boss, you didn't close enough volume in the month of October, how come you just lost this client? Like you don't know, right? But yet when you walk in, they're like, you think that all, all eyes should be on you. Mm -hmm. So. My thing is try to be more empathetic of what they're doing before you walk in. Because girl, I've walked in the same office eight times and I might finally get them as a client. I'm like, what took you so long to run Mark? I didn't even realize you walked in the first four times. <laughs> okay. Just because they're so busy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yes. so if you kind mm -hmm. of empathize with that, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it makes it easier to follow up and puts less pressure on you. So okay. being patient. Remember, you got to believe in invisible growth. 
It's like when you have a garden, you know that the roots are growing even though it hasn't sprouted. So you're watering your garden right now. I wanna say thank you so much for putting in effort, okay? Because oh, that no. is what builds your business. And so many signing agents don't put in the effort and you have. So give yourself a pat on the yeah, back. Yeah, thank you, Mark. You're so thank welcome. you very much. And so keep me posted, be consistent. Mm -hmm. But remember, I'm gonna end with this. Don't be afraid to dig wider, okay? Meaning if, you're, if you go into title companies and you know it's not that hard, because you should at this point know it's not that hard, mm -hmm. start going to other title companies and then mm -hmm. just get the other clients on a follow-up program. But don't let the lack of their following up uh, not inspire you to keep digging wider, okay? Yes, I, I will. Girl, thank you I'm, very I'm much. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Oh, get me in the DMs thank and you. let me know how it goes. You're welcome. Thank if you need you. any encouragement, you get discouraged. Girl, hit me up in the DMs. I will help. Okay, thank you, Mark. So and welcome. I love your reels. I love, I laugh <laughs> so much. <laughs> Good, I'm, I'm just trying to educate and entertain, girl. But D, I'm so proud of you. So keep doing what you're doing. And then I'm, if you need anything, you know I'm, I'm a message away. Okay, thank All you, right. Mark. Be blessed, okay, bye. Take care. Uh, so I think the bye. best, in my opinion, the biggest takeaway from that is understanding that, you know, when you walk into a title company, remembering you're walking into their place of business. You don't know what they were doing the moment before you walked in. And I think that will help on the follow-up process or make follow-up easier because sometimes you just need to remember, okay, I need to remind you that I came in last week. Because sometimes they'll take your business card, throw it right in the card, right in their desk, and they will go to the next thing that they were doing because it's so important. Maybe they're trying to fund a loan. Maybe they're trying to close on a house that's three days past escrow, right? So I think it's important to understand that when four of you walk in, they're doing something, and that's why the follow-up's so important. All right, so um, let's go to somebody else. Who's up next? Oh, John, my man. How you doing? Dude, how are you doing, bro? First off, you say pull over. Yes, I will. I will. Oh, Give me a minute. Give me a second. Music on in the background. Turn that music down. All right, oh, all right, all right. Let's get this party started while you're getting safe. Where are you from? Spokane, Washington. All right, we're in Dave, the home of Jennifer Gardner. I love it. Okay. So, <laughs> um, uh, where are we at? Uh, uh, talk to me, man. Any coaching I can help you with today? Um, yeah, I, I just want to, um, because, like, I, I go to a couple of escrow offices out here, but I, I, I just need that, that, that um, extra, oh, excuse me, that, that extra, like, what else I need to do to... Uh, get their attention because I, I guess last week I went to I went to an office, I did a signing and there was some clients that came in and sat down and I said, Well I'm here, I could do it and they're like, Oh, hold on, let me ask the escrow officer and she was like, No, we're gonna postpone it. So I'm like, they didn't want me to do it, so I'm like, so like what do I gotta do to let them know that hey, I can do it for them or be more, you know, available, I guess you could say. Yeah. You know the okay, so the first thing is this, right? And I can't give away all the loan signing system secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? But here's what I will tell you. You know, I, a lot of times signing agents expect work from somebody without offering value in return. So you got to ask yourself, when I'm asking for business, what am I really asking to do? How does using me help your business? Does that make sense? So yeah. So too many times signing agents, hey, can I do the signing versus proposing it on the value you could bring. Again, I can't give away all the LSS secrets, so let's talk about it on a very surface level, and then hopefully this can jive some things that are inside the course, right? But okay. you know, what you gotta do when you're asking for the appointment, instead of saying, can I get the appointment, you should be able, look, hey, I'd love the opportunity to do the signing, because if you need me to travel somewhere, I'll do it. If you need me to come back at 3.30 in the afternoon, I will. What are you, what can you offer a value outside of just executing the signing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you mean like, like bring them stuff too? Like gifts yeah, well, like that no, or? Yes and no, by the way. Showing <laughs> gratitude yeah, is yeah. always important, right? You just don't give them something to give them something. You give them something to show gratitude. But right, no, right, right. What, why does using John, how does using you help their business? Right. That, does that make sense? That, and again, yeah. I can't give away all the secrets. I gotta do it. Respect no, no, you're good, you're good. Because this is a live, free platform. But the point right. is, I think the coaching is there. Why does using, how does using you, John, benefit the escrow officer? Think okay. That, what, 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 what value can I bring to them, like me helping them, make right. their, their, their right. business more successful? 
makes sense. There's, I can think All of right. thousands of things, right? And some of the some right. of the stuff I can talk about live right now is, you know, you present the value opportunity of the perfect signing. Like, hey, I'll walk the borrower through this at a, at a very leisurely pace. I'll go over the closing disclosure. I'll go over the note. I'll go over the, the mortgage very succinctly and slow. So they get a really good signing experience. I know the signing right. experience here makes you look better. I know if I give them a better signing experience, then the loan officer is happy, right, with the service because I realize I'm the last person they see in the transaction. That's a very surface level worth of value that you get. But you have to okay. think about it's more than selling yourself, right? A lot of people go like, oh, I can do anything anytime. It's what value do you bring to their business? Okay. How does working with you help their business? Right. Okay. That's usually what's missing from signing agents who just ask for business. It's A, I would love to do your five o'clock, but you haven't given them a reason to. Just because you don't miss signatures, dates, and initial isn't a reason. That right. should be expected, right? Expected, what right, value right. Do you give? And if you need help on that, just jump back in the course, watch some of the mentorship videos. Yep. But my yep. point in my coaching for everybody is what value, why, how is their business better? Because you do the sign. Gotcha. All right. Will do. Did that make some things work? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Because that's that makes what you should be saying. Instead of, hey, can I do the signing? It's like, hey, if you give me the signing, here's the value that's going to happen to your business. You have to gotcha. make them think like, oh, that's in more than just a notary now. Right. He's going above and beyond, I guess you want to call it. Yeah. And he's okay. he's thinking about me. Right. More right. More importantly, so most signing agents think about them. You know, like you, by giving me your business, I'm making money. Right, right, instead, right. Instead of, if you give me the signing, this is how this is going to benefit your business. Your business, okay. Does that make sense? Right. So, so think, think, think of them, about, right. Think about, John, what can you do using your notary service? How does that benefit them? Is that right? Clicking? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. All people want to hear is, how are you going to help me? But the right. reason you didn't get that signing because all you thought about was that signing. Was it was right. yourself. Right, right. I, I, I got you. <laughs> all right. So spin uh, the conversation. It. You're welcome. Spin the conversation next time to, look, if you give me this signing, here's the benefits you get. Dot, okay. dot, dot. Right? That's in the course. Right. Or asset in yeah, the yeah, Facebook yeah, group. Yeah. Give asset in the Facebook group. I'll tell you some of the benefits that you can talk about. But remember, talk about how they benefit from you being the signing agent. Because all you're saying is, I want business. I wouldn't give you the business either. You know, right, you got to show me something or give me something or tell me something. Right, right. Okay, right. I got it. Okay, and so if you need help with more specifics, asset in the Facebook group, tag me, and I'll drop some. I will do. All right, I appreciate it, Mark. Thank but, you. Hey, I'm going to end with this. Dude, keep doing you. But remember, as you're marketing and building your business, how can you're going to benefit by hiring me in this way? Okay, Talk about right, this way right. With them. Okay. Right. Okay. You okay. Need more nuggets in that asset in the Facebook group. All we'll right? do. No, but Doc, make sure you understand it's all about value to them. Value to them. Got you. All right, man. Keep Let's go. Man. I'm proud of you, brother. Let's go. Let's all go. right, Mark. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we are. I love Thank that you. Conversation. All right. Let's go, babe. I love that conversation because I think at the end of the day, if you realize that your business is bigger than you, it's easier to get business. Let me say that one more time. A lot of signing agents want money for them. People can sense that. When you start making people realize, look, I'm actually in this to help you. Here's how that works. Here's how I propose that. You become more than a signing agent. You become a business partner. Let me say that one more time. You become more than a signing agent. You become a business partner. And if you're a loan signing system student, you know that's what I preach to you in the course. I tell you specific examples on the benefits someone gets by using you. So even if you're not a loan signing system student, the value that I just taught you is stop making the business about you and start making it about the person you serve and you're going to make a ton of money. All right, who's next? Oh, what up, what up, what up? Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, how are you? I am so good. Okay, so uh, tell them what your name and where are you from? Okay, I'm Brianna. My husband and I um, are students of yours, and we are in Orange County, California. Oh my gosh, only one of the best places ever to yes. be a signing agent. <laughs> All right, B, uh, talk to me. I don't know if you're, you're, your other half's there, but 
What can I help you with right now? He's coming home with our lunch. Um, so we went direct marketing last week on Monday. Yes. And um, that was our first time. It was pouring rain. And I was like 10 days post-op surgery. It was crazy. And um, we went to only five offices that day. And it wasn't the worst experience when we got home. I sent a few emails out. But I actually have a specific question for you. Um, I've been back and forth with a senior escrow officer from one of the offices. His name um, never mind, but um, he uh, is very nice. And I told him basically, I'm not going to take no for an answer and kind of made it playful. And he, it was Friday last week. And he just said, if you would like to call me and have a conversation, please do. So I said, that sounds great. Are you available today between this window? And he said, call me Monday at three, literally today. So I obviously with the script and everything, I'm just wondering, wondering if there's anything we should specifically say, because I know you recommend doing about 10 to 15 signings before with signing services before going direct. Um, but we feel like your course has equipped us to do a yeah. signing direct. We don't, we don't want to blow it, you know? Right. So. Well, look, you know, honestly, I say that to be conservative. I actually feel everyone could go direct right out of the gate. Whether you do your first signing through a signing service or direct, you're still doing the exact same job or activity. You know what I mean? So I'm proud of you and the hubby for going to get it because I love it. This is the same coaching I just gave John. I want you to make sure you start the conversation with this, okay? It is like, look, I want to, I want to help your business. That's why I'm so passionate about it. Like anybody can sign here, date there. I get that I'm representing you. Talk about the point I'm trying to make is talk about the conversation about them, not you. Don't sell how great you are. No one cares, okay? What people care about is what can you do for me? So tell that to them. Like, look, I, you know, I can't give the script away, but the script really is your way of showing value. But if you can stop and slow down and be like, okay, I want to communicate to him how going with us is going to help his business. Then everything changes. Because what he thinks is going to happen on this conversation, by the way, is it's going to be a big pitch on how great you are. That's what he thinks. So you need to flip the script and be like, look, first off, thank you so much for giving me time today. But first and foremost, I'm here to help your business. Okay. Like literally, that's the first sentence. I'm here to help your business. I okay. want to see your business grow. And okay. I know that if I can be a small part of the overall experience, I can help your business grow. Here are a few ways that I can help your business grow by adding these value and then they'll lay out the script. But the first sentence though is, I wanna help your business grow. That's why we're on the phone today, right. all right? Don't get on that phone and be like, oh, this is what makes me great. I'm LSS certified, I'm NNA certified. Right. I'll travel all over Orange County. Flip the script on, because that's what he's expecting. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the first conversation okay. is, look, I, first off, thank you so much for this time today. I'm here to figure out how I can add value to your team, help you get more business, earn more business through me and my husband. Actually, don't sell your husband, sell you. Okay, okay. so my first off is don't do a team. He should not know your team. He should know you're one person, okay? Another coach, okay. okay? So, but the biggest thing is before you go into the script, convey that this phone call is to help him grow his business. Okay. Okay, I know through an amazing signing atmosphere and, and, and a signing, it will help your business. Here are some other ways I will help your business grow. Make it about his business. Make it about him getting more business. Make it about him looking good to their clients. Okay. Not about you, all about him. Does that make sense? Yes. And you have to weave in the script. So A, he knows you know what you're doing, okay? So don't go away from the script. He, even though you can, you can, Pitch him on everything, but he still needs to know you need the X's and you know the X's and O's, obviously. But the point is, start the conversation with like, look, man, I, 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 this conversation is because I want to help. I want to be part of your team so you can earn more business. I'm more than a notary, right? Go into the script. But if you can do that today, you will knock his socks off, guaranteed. And you know what the follow-up email is after the conversation, which you should have one? Oh my gosh, so great talking to you. Thank you so much for the time today. Again, I'm here to help your business. Okay. Stop making it about you today, okay? So many signing agents want to talk about how great I am. Nobody cares, okay? 
And I know because it's an egoless thing to say that, you know what I mean? We want to talk about how great we are, how much training we've done, how many times we, how much, you know, we have two different uh, notary uh, uh, certifications. Everyone only wants to know, what do you do for me? Like your husband, right? Like I was coaching a couple of students before you, is when, you know, before your husband, you know, you said yes to your husband, you had to think about how is my husband going to add value to my life, Right? Right. And you're like, how was marrying my husband going to grow my life, right? Same thing with business. He has to know how is B going to help me grow my business. But most notaries don't attack it from that angle. It is, oh, I'll drive anywhere. Oh, I'm NNA certified. Oh, I'm LSS certified. Oh, I got deaf ears, okay? And remember, I don't know if you, I don't think you have, because I don't remember, you have, but you have you and your husband set up that one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. Next Monday, we're together with you. Okay, cool, cool. Because I remember all you students. I'm like, we haven't done one yet. I so, know. So this, this is actually great. So I want you to take notes on the next interactions over the next week. And then during that one-to-one, -on -one, I can give you much greater answers because you're it's behind closed doors. I can't totally give away the farm right now. Um, but girl, I'm proud of you. Make it about them, not you, and you're going to crush this, okay? Okay, quick, quick question. <laughs> So you said don't don't sh present us as a team. So do you mean don't market also as a team? Because in the Facebook group, people recommended we should go into these offices together. But we felt uncomfortable. Like last week when we did that, we felt a little weird doing that. Uh, but well, no, it's, it's a yes and no answer. And so this is a good conversation to have with you. What you can't do is if you guys are going in together and they both see both of your faces, then... Yes, but what you don't want is so you, you know, this gentleman is talking about you. He loves you and what you've offered, and then you send your husband. It's kind of like a bait and switch, you know what I mean? So it's usually easier for one person to get in and be like, oh, this is my husband. Oh, this is my wife. Got it. Does that make sense? It's usually an easier way to point A to point B. So, and I actually think you guys can cover more ground in Orange County if you guys actually divided and conquer. Right? Okay. And then he gets into two or three EO offices, you get in two or three, and now you're introducing each other. Does okay. that make sense? But you're the one following up with this company. He's the one following with that. He's creating the relationship here. You're creating the relationship here. But then you're like, oh my gosh, I can't take that. But my husband can. Oh, maybe your husband drops off. Well, let's talk about that inside the, the, the okay. mentorship. Again, I, don't, I can't give away everything for free here, but yep. I'll teach you very specific ways on how to cross market inside okay. the one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay? So make sure you're both on that one-on-one -on -one so I can teach you how to cross market. Okay, great. Hey, I, this is here for me saying thank you for giving effort. Effort will build your business, okay? Fortune's in the follow-up. Tell your husband I'm proud of him too because marketing is all about pushing past your nerves and realizing you're deserving and you already know you deserve the entire signing fee. So go get it and I'll see you on Monday. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye. Oh my gosh, what a great conversation. So we only got four minutes left. So let me wrap up with this. This is November 1st. We have 60 days until 2022. This is not a time to rest and like, oh, I'm getting some New Year's resolutions. Oh, I'm going to start doing that. We're going to start working harder January 1st. I need you to start working hard right now. So here's the coaching I'm giving everybody. See, what happens too often is signing agents go, well, I'm going to start working hard January 1st. And they actually start don't creating momentum until February 1st. What I want you to do is January 1st hits, you've already built momentum. You already have five, six, seven escrow officers you're following up, for, uh, following up with. So what I want you to do is I want you to be ahead of the game on New Year's resolutions. Because real successful people start building out their January 1st, their Q1 quarter, their Q1 goals at the beginning of Q4. So the real successful people have already been working on their goals for Q1 because the, Q4, the goals that you're doing for Q4 should have been set in Q3. So I'm trying to give you the mindset of a high figure signing agent, of high figure earning signing service owner in me. I'm already planning my goals for January 1st. I'm already implementing how do I get there and create the biggest bang. So it is November 1st. 
I need you to start thinking about your goals now. I need you to start thinking about your New Year's resolutions now. I need you to start thinking about the game plan and what you're going to do now because that's what successful people do. They don't wait until January 1st to, oh, I'm going to start my New Year's resolutions. They start doing them now. That's what successful people do. So it is November 1st. There are 60 days left in this month. I want you to go all in, ride the momentum. I want you to create so much momentum that January 1st becomes easy for you. So go all in. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for spending an hour with me. I want to say this, and I say this every single time. You're amazing. You're deserving. You deserve the entire fee. You deserve success in this business. You deserve this business to be as big. Don't let anyone ever tell you anything opposite. You can build this business. You will build this business. I believe in you, but I just can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Let's go. Let's have a great November, everybody. Be blessed. Bye. <laughs>